The patients need to know this. Autolytic cannibalism. Autolytic cannibalism. But who's to guarantee that radiation, chemo, and these other stuff are going to give you a cure anyway? In fact, it comes back, and it comes back real bad. And now your body is weakened. You don't can't rely. And there's another thing you guys got to know about. Autolytic cannibalism. This is a phenomenon, you guys. The patients need to know this. Autolytic cannibalism. Autolytic cannibalism. It's an evolutionarily conserved uh, concept. When you have enough energy in the body that the cancer cells and the normal cells are both uh, sufficiently nurtured, the cancer cells through high glucose and glutamine and the normal cells through very low glu glucose and very little glutamine or maybe some fatty acids or something. Everybody's fat and happy. There's no attempt on the body to manage something when all the cells in the body and the brain are energy sufficient. So as you lower the energy of the body, which is fasting and lowering blood sugar, uh, all of a sudden insulin goes down and all of these things are starting to happen. Glucagon goes up. What's going on? I'm not, I'm not, I've missed meals and stuff. What's going on? Glucagon goes up. The body then starts mobilizing fats. The fats go to the liver and you make ketone bodies. The heart starts burning fatty acids. The brain starts burning ketones. The muscles burn ketones and fatty acids. All of a sudden, you're going down a, a, below a certain threshold.